Hey guys, so today I'm just going to show you how to do a really simple modification to an e-bike to uh, speed it up. Um, most e-bikes come with a speed limiter, mine's set at 25 kilometers an hour, which isn't really ideal, you want to go a little bit quicker than that, I find 25 k's an hour just a little bit of a pain. Uh, if it was set at about 30 I probably wouldn't modify it, but uh, because it's got the speed modification, I just want to remove that uh, so that I can go a little bit quicker than 25 k's an hour without the motor cutting out. So uh, let's have a little look at how that is done. So basically how the e-bike determines what speed you're going is it has a little sensor here um, that will sit here. This is for a mid-drive e-bike obviously. Um, so the sensor sits here and as the wheel spins there is a small magnet, there it is there, and as it passes past the sensor, depending on how many times it passes every, every minute, um, it will determine through a formula what speed you're going. So the easiest way to remove the speed limiter is just to trick your e-bike into thinking that you're going slower than you actually are. Now if you can enter the general settings of your controller, the simplest way would just be to change your wheel diameter from, this is a 27.5 inch wheel, if you changed it to the smallest wheel possible, then based on the formula that's going to apply, it's going to think you're going uh, much slower than you actually are based on how many rotations per minute. Um, Unfortunately I can't do that on my e-bike so I'm going to show you how to uh, just trick it another way. What we're going to do basically is I'm going to remove that from here and I'm going to put it on the outside about here um, and then I'm going to mount the magnet to this crankshaft so that every time the crankshaft passes the sensor there with a magnet on here basically each pedal um, it's going to think I'm going a certain speed, which will be incorrect. It'll be much slower than I'm actually going, because one pedal does not equal one rotation of the rear wheel. And so the speed limiter effectively will be rendered obsolete. Um, I should mention that obviously your controller is no longer going to show you your accurate speed. If that bothers you, then this modification isn't for you. But for me, I'd much rather be going quicker than 25 k's an hour. Uh, and have an inaccurate reading on my cycle computer. Obviously I could always just get another cycle computer, which are cheap as chips, if I wanted to know my actual speed and read that rather than off the, the control. Right, so we've got the tape there, and I'm just going to roughly line that up where I want it, and go around the whole unit. Obviously this is magnetically sensed, so it's not going to matter that it's covered in a little bit of duct tape. Right, that's roughly where I'm going to mount it. Now I've purchased this magnet here off AliExpress. It's slightly larger than the original magnet just because I want a little bit more strength. A little bit of duct tape on this too. Now the polarity is important. You have to get the polarity right on the magnet for the sensor. So the easiest way to test that is just to attach your magnet just there to the other one. So those two sides have opposite polarity. If that's positive then that's negative. Or if that's negative then that's positive. So basically I just keep it Ooh, the same way, and I'm going to place that onto my duct tape and stick it in. Right, stupid me, obviously I don't need to tape the magnet, I just need to find something metal. So I've actually just uh, magnetised it to the back of the pedal, and now every time that passes, I can very quickly prove my concept by watching my speed. So I'll just pedal away, and as you can see, it thinks I'm moving when in fact I am sitting perfectly still. This means now that the motor will engage once I put the assist on. So let's take it for a quick bike and see if it works, which I'm sure it will. Radio, so I've set it for maximum assist, and as you can see, speedometer, even though I am moving, thinks I'm not moving because I'm not pedaling. The moment I start pedaling, power's just come on. And as you can see, right now it's telling me I'm going 7, 8 k's an hour. I'm in fact probably going at about 28 kilometers an hour at the moment. Since I'm going at 8 k's an hour. I'm already past my speed limiter, that's for sure. Definitely not going 8 kilometers an hour. Um, now, it's probably worth mentioning that this is obviously going to affect a couple things. Your odometer on your uh, thing, it tells you how many how many k's you've done on the bike, that's no longer going to be accurate. Uh, your speed is obviously not accurate, and when I change gears, that's, um, well, I'll show you, if I change them to a low gear, I'm going to be pedaling faster, so it's going to think I'm going faster than I actually am. 
So at the moment I'm saying eight, let's change it down a little bit. Yeah, let's switch hands. Alright, there we go. Change that down to my lowest gear. So now I'm pedaling really fast, I'm going slower, but it says I'm going, what, 13 kilometres an hour. Change up gear to my highest gear. I'm pedaling slower, going much quicker, but it says I'm going 6.8. So basically you can't trust your uh, your speed controller there to give you any kind of accurate readings. The odometer, the trip computer and the speedo no longer works. So if you're keen on maintaining those functionalities you really need to buy yourself just a normal a normal cycle computer, they're only about 10-15 bucks which you could mount right next to it and you know that one's just going to be for your actual e-bike functionality and your odometer on your new cycle computer can be for any other functionality you want. Ready, eh? So it works perfectly, not cutting out once I get nice and quick. This enables me to go at a much faster speed on my e-bike with no rewiring or anything like that. The only job left is to take out that little bit of duct tape and just put in a normal self-tapping screw to screw it to the frame just to make it tidy. Or if you don't care, you can leave it as duct tape. Right, so back in the garage, uh, the last part of the modification is just tidying this little bit up here. So there's no real need in my particular one even to take that off. So I'm just going to drill a hole, line it up right, drill a hole straight through here. Now I should mention I've already got the right, got a wee self-tapping screw. That's just going to screw into the frame. And I've got the right drill bit uh, for the size of the thread. So I can just drill straight through here. Carefully, just enough to scar the, scar the um, metal on the rail. Now I can take that off. Don't need that anymore. See down there where I have marked the frame of the bike. So I can just finish off that hole. I'll do that without holding the camera, sorry. Okay, so I've drilled the hole. Now we're just going to cut the thread. And to do that, without putting that there, I'm just going to... Get my self-tapping screw, line it up, and I'm just going to change here. Screw my screw into the hole, all the way. That just cuts the thread into the frame. Take it back out. And now I'm going to mount the unit. Obviously I don't want to go too tight, otherwise we can run into some problems. And there we have it, the completed modification, all we've basically done, moved it from there to there and chucked that magnet on, nice and simple. Uh, if you want to cable tie that to tidy it up, that would probably be smart rather than getting that hooked in your pedal. I'll do that in a second, but there we go, that's my modification for a mid-drive electric e-bike, removing the speed limiter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck.